for my vlog this week, I actually just told my mother that we're going to interview her. But basically, we're going to interview my mom because we've kind of touched a lot of different bases and asked a lot of different people questions. But we figured we might as well go right. She says she's more interesting, but I don't know. We, we, we might as well go straight to the source and we'll ask mom. I guess the first question has to be when, at a young age, I would imagine, but when did you first imagine me being a driver or see me or any of my actions as if I wanted to be a race car driver? I think when you were about three and you were in the garage constantly taking bicycles apart, you never got them back together the same way, but you'd take them apart and you'd play, play with, you know, different little go-karts and we had all those little um, Jeeps, you know, those little automatic Jeeps that you could run around the drive when you're always chasing the dogs and the cats with them. So that was kind of an indication. What is it, as a mother of a race car driver, what is, what, what is it like? Um, I mean, obviously it's, it's never something I'm going to experience, but um, what is it, I mean, what does it feel like to be in that position? It's exciting. I'm very proud. I mean, it's obviously very different from when your father was racing because it's a part of you out there and uh, you know that I'm a little league mother. So even when your sister's showing horses, I'm kind of very competitive, but it's very exciting. I'm very proud of you. And I, you know, you just want the best and, and, and safety. That's the most important thing. So that has to be my next question. Is it more nerve wracking watching me than dad? When I met your father, he was already racing. So yes, I'd have to say it's more nerve wracking watching you because you want, you want to hope that your son has the same talents as the father because, you know, kids like to follow in their parents' footsteps, but you definitely exceeded my expectations, I have to say, and I'm very proud of you, and I think, yeah, but it is more difficult. Okay, so just to give all the people that are watching some background, my family is really big into boating, jet skis, you got the whole deal. Well, after this race, we're going to head up to, um, we have a cabin, my mom's cabin, we're going to let her talk about it a little more, but a cabin in St. Andrews, New Brunswick. And really, I guess, for you to answer, why, why, I mean, how did we get the cabin and how, what does it mean to our family and why do we go up there so much? When I was about four years old, my father was up there on business. He was a nuclear physicist and he was up there doing some kind of business and he was invited to this particular cabin. And he said to them, it's on the ocean, it's on the Passamaquoddy Bay, the Bay Fundy, where the tides come in and out the fastest in the world. And we have a lake behind us. and. Uh, my father said to the people who owned the house, if you ever sell it, I might be interested in it. And he bought it for like $4,000. And I won't tell you how many years later, I've been going over this since I was four years old and missed one summer. And went to college up there to be near it because I just like the way of life and the people. And it's just good. We had a two-seater outhouse. Who said, who has a two-seater outhouse? Now, of course, we have indoor plumbing, but maybe my twin and I, I don't know. But um, the simple life. The simple life, you know, just fireplaces for heat and lobster, all the lobster you can eat, all the neighbors are fishermen, so it's very exciting and, and I think you've always enjoyed it because it's different from growing up in a big city, it's just back down to earth, bonfires, fireworks on the beach, simple life. So that kind of, mom you passed your test because now I'm done with questions for you, but that kind of leads me into our, our next topic here which is now we're headed off to Toronto and and, uh, and obviously a couple races in the Canadian swing here. Um, Toronto is obviously a street circuit, something that I really look forward to going to, especially coming off of here in Watkins Glen. I think it gives our team um, a great opportunity to finish up front, and certainly we should be very competitive, both on my side and Robert. Robert's been there and also been to Edmonton before, so it will be a good place for him to start. And um, anyway, I mean, uh, it presents a lot of challenges to a lot of the teams, but it starts as kind of an pl even playing field. I mean, everybody that would race here has raced in Toronto before, other than maybe uh, Dry and Reinbold are some of the smaller teams, but uh, it's a good place for us to go and certainly we're looking forward to it.